Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, Kenita Sarki. On our previous video, we have discussed all around 6 to 7 videos about trigonometry, right? In this video, I will be discussing about applications of trigonometry, okay? Now, see, first of all, how we will apply trigonometry, in what cases we will apply trigonometry, okay? Now, take an example. For example, think this is a tree, okay? This is a tree. So, how we will uh, find the height of tree? If a person is standing here, the person is standing here. The person is looking the tree, looking the top of tree. Okay. The person is looking at the top of the tree. Some point of tree is looking. Top of a tree. Now, listen carefully. A person is looking to the top of the tree. This is the imaginary line. What is this called? Imaginary line. The imaginary line drawn from the observer's eye or observer's point to the point of view where the observer is seen. Understood? The imaginary line where from the observer's eye to the point the observer is seeing, that line is called as line of sight. Okay, what is that line is called? Line of sight or it is called as ray view. Okay, it is called as ray view. Line is called as what? Line of sight. Okay. Now, see here. Now, the person and the base of the tree, the person and the base of the tree are perpendicular to the earth's surface, right? This line. How, how this line is called? How this line is? This is perpendicular to the, sorry, parallel to the, that is parallel to the earth's surface. Parallel to earth's surface. The observer and the base of the tree, if we join the line from the observer's eye to the base of the tree, that line is exactly parallel to the earth's surface, right? Now, what type of figure we have got here? What type of figure is there here? This is a right angle triangle. Always we have discussed it that while solving trigonometry, what we want? Right angle triangles, okay? The position from the observer's eye to the point where the observer is seen is called as what? Line of sight. And uh, Position from the observer's eye to the base of tree is called as what? This line is called as horizontal line. The imaginary line drawn parallel to the earth's surface is called as what? Horizontal line. Understood? These are the imaginary lines we are drawing. Okay? Now, we have to find the angle at which angle the person is observing the top of tree or the point where the observer, observer is seen. Right? This Take this as angle. Take this, uh, that as a theta. See here, the angle or the theta is above the horizontal line, right? The theta is above the horizontal line. If angle is above the horizontal line, that is called as angle of depression. Remember the terms carefully. Sorry, angle of elevation. Remember the terms carefully. The angle is above the horizontal line, that is called as what? Angle of elevation. And you can define angle of elevation as, how you can define? The angle between line of sight and above the horizontal line is called what? Angle of elevation. What is line of sight? The position from the observer's eye to the point where the observer is seeing is called what? Line of sight. And what is meant by horizontal line? The position from the observer to the base of the tree or an object or the pole, cover, anything you can take. Okay? That, uh, that is called as what? Horizontal line. And the horizontal line will be always parallel to the at surface okay and whenever you are solving the problems definitely there should be a right angle triangle the figure should be framing into right angle triangle okay now what is angle of elevation angle of elevation means uh, the angle between line of sight and above the horizontal line this is above right above the horizontal line is called what angle of elevation this is uh, one part how we will find the angles now next step we will be having angle of depression right here. This is called angle of elevation. Angle of elevation. Okay. Now, angle of depression. How we will find angle of depression? See here, how what is angle of elevation? The person is seeing like this, right? He is seeing to the top, right? If he is seeing to the top from the observer side to the point of which is on the top, that is called as what? Angle of elevation. Quite opposite to that is the angle of depression. For example, for example, take this as a building. And 
assume this is one tower okay this is one cell tower and this is building understood now how we will find angle of uh, elevation sorry angle of depression how we will find angle of depression same the person will be standing here the person will be standing here the person is seeing the base of the tower from the observer's eye okay the imaginary line drawn from observer's eye to the base of the tower the imaginary line drawn from observer's eye to the base of tower what is this angle this is a horizontal line okay this is a horizontal line and the person is seeing like this right the person is seeing below and he is making right angle triangle like this got it all of you he is making a right angle triangle with the base of tower and also base of building base of building and base of tower if we join that that is parallel to earth surface if, you, if it is parallel to earth surface it is called as what horizontal line what is it is called horizontal line okay now a person the observer is seeing the base of the tower base means how we will see like this so the bottom part we will see right so theta will be below the horizontal line the theta is what means the angle will be below horizontal line if the angle is below horizontal line then it is called what angle of depression then where will be line of sight the line of sight will not change the definition of line of sight will be as it is how the point from the observer's eye to the point where the observer is seeing is called as line of sight this is called line of sight now what will be the definition now the angle between line of sight and below the horizontal line is called as what angle of depression understood the angle between line of sight and below the horizontal line is called as what angle of depression angle of elevation will be we will be seeing to the top words now understood all of you this is called as this is also a horizontal line this is also horizontal line so what will be the definition of angle of depression now the angle between line of sight and below the horizontal line this will be take this as the horizontal line okay below the horizontal line is called as what angle of depression now see here angle of elevation means we will be seeing to the top of the object right angle of depression means we will be seeing the bottom of the object okay angle of depression and angle of elevation are opposite angles opposite to each other means if this is theta we can write theta here no understood if this is the angle opposite to this is this one right opposite to this we can write theta here okay so that's why uh, then if theta is placed here then the observer will be here he is watching upwards so that's why i am saying what angle of depression and angle of elevation are always uh, opposite to each other in the problems if he is giving angle of depression we should convert that one into angle of elevation and we will solve the problems understood so what you should remember while doing applications definitely you should remember elevation and also depression concepts what is elevation simply the angle above the horizontal line is called elevation and if in angle angle of elevation we will see the object like uh, topwards okay next upwards next what is depression the angle below the horizontal line is called angle of depression and we will see the object bottom downwards okay now this is angle of depression and angle of elevation also i said that angle of elevation and angle of depression are always opposite to each other then now we will see how we will solve the problems what are the steps to solve the problems now see drawing figures to solve problems how we will draw figures to solve the problems see the rules which have to be we have to follow all the objects such as towers ships buildings trees etc shall be considered as linear for mathematical convenience linear means uh, this all can be taken as only objects okay this all can be taken as uh, only objects for our convenience means to solve the problem you will take everything towers ships buildings trees uh, uh, everything will be considered as what only objects linear object means single object okay now the angle of elevation or angle of depression is considered with reference to the horizontal line i have already said uh, before how we will see angle of elevation depression if it is above the horizontal line it is called angle of elevation if it is below the horizontal line it is called angle of depression okay now the height of the observer is neglected if it is not given in the problem 
if the height of the observer is given in the problem then we will make use of that in the problem and we will solve the problem if he is not giving that then we should not uh, make it as a mark when understood we should not take the height of observer and we should not solve the problem just the observer is seen we should not consider the height understood follow these rules and we have to solve the problems and we have to solve uh, draw the figures first of all the main important thing is uh, whenever you are doing whenever you are solving solving applications of trigonometry definitely the, you should draw the figure perfectly if the figure is perfect then your answer will be perfect your answer will be accurate understood now let us move on to some kind of uh, problems now now let us see one more now let us move on to one more problems now in this video only i will be going to give you the videos of uh, videos and examples of example models of uh, one mark problems okay now in our telangana state say, ssc second paper definitely you will be having one mark question based on applications of uh, trigonometry okay definitely you will be asking draw the diagram for the given that he will be giving some data and he will ask to draw the diagram okay now see the question which is on the board the top of a clock tower is observed at an angle of uh, alpha degrees what is the angle he is saying the angle is alpha degrees now and foot of the tower is at a distance of d meters from the observer draw the diagram for the given data so what we have to draw just we have to draw the diagram then we will get the marks so see so the problem totally is based on what clock tower right assume that this is a clock tower assume that this is a clock tower and foot of the tower is the distance of d meters from the observer if the observer is standing here if the observer is standing here he is observing the top of clock tower okay he is observing top of clock tower he is observing top of clock tower and the distance from the foot of the observer from the foot of the observer the distance is what d meters from the foot of the observer to the foot of a tower the distance is what d meters so you can label it then what will be the angle the top of clock tower is observed at an angle of uh, alpha degrees means the angle of elevation top means definitely it will be angle of elevation right so that's the, that's why the angle will be above the horizontal line now after drawing this one just write the data okay you are you have drawn the diagram right now write the data how bc is the height of tower bc is equal to h which is height of tower or height of tower is equal to bc h meters okay or you can write height of tower height of tower is equal to height of tower bc is equal to h meters okay now next distance from foot of tower to the foot of observer distance from foot of tower to the foot of observer is d meters you can take it as just write the steps distance from or distance between foot of observer and foot of tower foot of observer and foot of tower is equal to d meters okay next angle of elevation what is the angle of elevation we have taken what is the angle of elevation we are taking angle of elevation is alpha degrees that's it then the problem is completed see the top of clock tower is this one and the observer is uh, uh, observer is observing the top of clock tower from this point so this is called as what alpha degrees and the distance from foot of the tower to the foot of uh, observer is what d meters so based on the uh, given information you should draw the given that you should draw the diagram for the given data now let us move on to the next problem okay now see the second problem which is on the board see rinku observes that a flower on the ground from balcony of the first floor observe of a building okay suppose for suppose take it as a building and uh, take it as a building and you can take this is the first floor and this as the ground floor this is ground floor and this is first floor okay now what rinku is observing rinku observes a flower on the ground from the balcony of first floor of a building at an angle of depression beta degrees angle of depression is giving what beta degrees so what she is observing from the balcony she is observing the flower which is on the ground means flower is on the ground flower is on the ground she is observing like this okay and 
the height of the first floor of building is x meters so what is the height up to here what is the height x meters that's the draw the diagram for the given diagram this is the diagram understood all of you now see here this is the imaginary diagram how you should draw the diagram assume that this is the observer's point rinku is observing the flower which is on the ground okay rinku is observing the flower which is on the ground and this will be the foot of the building and this will be the foot of the flower and how she is observing at an angle of depression angle of depression means always angle of depression will be below the horizontal line okay angle of depression means the angle of depression will be below the below the horizontal line what is the angle of depression given angle of depression is beta degrees okay angle of depression is beta degrees and uh, height of the uh, building of first floor is how many meters x meters okay label it you can label that is a b and c definitely you will be forming always a right angled triangle okay always you will be forming a right angled triangle now how we will find the data i have said you that angle of elevation and angle of depression are always opposite to each other if the problem is given in angle of depression you should change it into angle of elevation and we have to find the solution for the given data okay now this is the diagram for the given data see ring you observes the flower on the ground floor from the first floor okay from first floor she is observing which is a flower here some flower is there she is observing that flower okay at an angle of depression like this if uh, the person is if the observer is seeing downwards then the angle will be angle of depression okay means the angle will be below the horizontal line below the horizontal line okay now this is the diagram for the given data like this i will be giving two more examples of the uh, one mark problems so let us move on to next problem that is now see a person observes two banks of uh, river okay two banks of river at an angle of depression theta 1 and theta 2 so he is giving the condition what is the given condition theta 1 is less than theta 2 okay now see uh, a person is observing the two banks of river right how you will observe two banks of river if this is a river if that is the river and person is here make sure that person is here a person is observing two banks of river at an angles of depression angles of depression means definitely it will be below the horizontal line so theta 1 is less than theta 2 means theta 1 will be lower degrees and theta 2 will be highest degrees right so he is observing like this this is theta 1 and this will be theta 2 right theta 1 and theta 2 why because if angle is increasing the distance will be decreasing if angle is decreasing the distance will be increasing okay now the person is here if the person is observing the river banks bank of river take as a and b okay two banks is saying a and b so let the width of the river means the width of river is width of river is what width of river width of river is ab okay now see he is seeing at angle of depressions depressions means like this he is seeing okay now theta 1 and theta 2 theta 1 definitely i have already said that angle of elevation and depression are always opposite to each other now theta 1 here it is theta 1 then the opposite will be here and this is theta 2 the opposite angle will be here right now see here what is he saying angle of depressions from two points what are the two points theta 1 and theta 2 theta 1 is less than theta 2 why we are writing theta 1 here and theta 2 here because theta 1 is less than means if angle is decreasing then the distance will be increasing if angle is increasing the distance will be decreasing okay no so theta 2 is the highest angle so that way the distance is less theta 1 is the lowest angle that way the distance is more from the observer's view okay so this is the diagram for the given data now how you can write the information how you can write angle of depressions angle of depressions are there angle of depressions are theta 1 and theta 2 so you can uh, place the angles what is the angle d a c is equal to theta 2 angle d b c is equal to angle d b c is equal to theta 1 angle d a c is equal to theta 2 and a b is the width of the river width of the river is equal to width of river is equal to a b okay width of river is taken as d 
So this is D like that. And any other information given? Yeah. So that is the given information and that is the diagram for the given data. So this is another type of model where, where he is asking two angles. In that first two models, we have observed only one angle, right? In this example, we are observing how many angles? Two angles. Okay. Now let us move on to next example. Now, see which is on the problem, which is uh, what the problem is on the board. A ladder x meters is leaning against a wall making an angle theta with the ground. Which trigonometric ratio would you like to consider? This is also a type of question. So here, what you should write the answer? What is the trigonometric ratio you will use to find the, uh, what you have to find? To consider, find the height of the point on which the ladder is touching. So see, a ladder x meters is leaning against a wall. Take this as wall. A ladder is leaning. Ladder means it will be slant, right? Ladder is this one. This is ladder. Okay. Now, at an angle theta, it is leaning at an angle theta. See the question theta with the ground. Okay. He is clearly giving theta with the ground. With the ground means from here. Theta with the ground. Which trigonometric ratio you would like to consider to find height of the point on the wall at which ladder is touching? So you have to find height of the ladder, sorry, height of the ladder. Take the height of ladder as x meters and height of the wall is h meters, okay? If height of wall is given and ladder have height, we have to find out. What trigonometric ratio we will use? We will use sine, right? Can you take sine? For this angle, this is the opposite side and this is the hypotenuse. Opposite side by hypotenuse means definitely we will use what? Sine theta. Or else you can use what? Cosecant theta, okay? hypotenuse by opposite. In these two, we can find the height of a ladder. This is also a, a type of question which will be asking for you. So what is the difference in this? You have to frame the diagram and also you have to say, check what trigonometric ratio you use, is used to find the height of the ladder. Okay. Now let us move on to next problem. Now, now a large balloon has been tied with a rope and it is floating in the air. A person has observed the balloon from the top of building. So what is saying? Balloon is there. The balloon is tied with a rope and the person is observing from the building. If this is the building, if this is the building, he is observing like this. Okay. He is observing the balloon at an angle of elevation and he is observing the foot of the rope at an angle of depression. Foot of the rope means this one. Foot of the rope at an angle of depression. This is rope. And this is the rope. Okay. Now, definitely, you should place the horizontal line here. So, know this is an angle of elevation. Angle of elevation is what theta one, and angle of depression is what theta two. Definitely, we know that angle of depression and angle of elevations are opposite to each other. So, if theta two is placed here, we can write this one as here. Okay. Now, draw the diagram. This is the given diagram for the given data. So, see, a large balloon has been tied with a rope. At an angle of a uh, had been tied with a rope, it is floating in the air. A person has observed the balloon from top of building. If this is the building, a person is observing from here at an angle of elevation the top of balloon, and a person is observing the rope foot at the angle of depression. And the building height is what given building height is h feet. Okay, now for this data, you can write you can place the labeling. A, B is the, A, C is the building height and uh, you can write C, A, D is angle of elevation and A, C, B is angle of depression. So you can write like this, okay. Now, these are the one more problem models. Definitely single angles are there, double angles are there and in the previous example, I have given you which trigonometric ratio should be used. Uh, these type of questions uh, may be repeatedly asked in your exams, okay. In my next video, let us see the other kind of information giving problems, how we will solve the problems. In this video, just we have drawn the diagrams. In the next video, I will be giving you how to solve the problems, how which trigonometric ratio should be used to solve the problems. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel, Ganita Saradi. Thank you.